And in this video, I'm going to get straight into the point and I'm going to show you guys how you edit vertical videos in Premiere Pro and you're probably doing it for Instagram or Facebook because who puts vertical videos on YouTube? Straight off the box, I'm just going to assume you know how to create and make sequences and there's two options because when you ha first take any normal video, doesn't matter, that's 1080p, 1920, you're going to get your 16x9 format. You drag it into your sequence over here and as you can see it is 16 by 9 or 1080p but you don't want that for Instagram or you're gonna do Facebook videos you need to get rid of that sequence what you need to do is you right click new item sequence I'm using a 1080p 24 frames per second so I'm gonna click AVC HD 1080p 24 but the thing is you don't click OK. You go to settings, drop down, scroll up, click custom, your frame size. So if you want to edit vertical videos on Instagram and Facebook, if you want the videos themselves to be square, as in one by one, that's going to be 1080 by 1080. As you can see here on your right now, now if I drag this video that I have here of myself into the timeline, and you click, you don't want to change, you want to keep existing settings. You can see now the video is 1080 by 1080p and now it is a vertical video. So what you have done now is just taken a 1080p video and cropped out the sides. And the cool thing about having 1080p 16 by 9 footage, it gives you a little room to crop in and out as well as just reframe your video for Instagram or Facebook. That's a cool thing. But if you want a complete vertical video or in other words, social media, digital marketing, call it as thumb stoppers and you want that four by five ratio instead of the one by one, same thing, new item, sequence, AVC HD 1080, 24 frames, depending on the footage, click settings. And here are the numbers you need to know. So the first one was 1080 by 1080, but the next one is 1080 by 1350. And that is your four by five on your Instagram feed or your Facebook feed. You press okay, and you can drag your, uh, whatever clip you have within your bin here, keep existing settings. And now you can see the video is a little bit longer, but if you're using 1080p footage, you might need to zoom in just a little bit. So you click your clip, zoom in, and there is your vertical video. Pretty straightforward. And last but not least, if you wanna make Instagram story videos on Premiere and not have to edit them on your phone, same thing, like you already know, sequence, but the thing is, it's essentially you're taking a 1920 by 1080 frame rate and you're just flipping it on its side. So you put 1080 here and 1920 on the other side as your vertical. Click OK. And there, keep existing settings. Now this is your Instagram story or Facebook story video. And that's how people do it, whether you work in agencies or you want to make fancy Instagram stories or Facebook stories, that is how you do it. So that is pretty much the straight to the point of how you make a vertical video, especially for Instagram and Facebook. And why is vertical video so important? Because truth is, video is still really relevant. It gets more engagement, catches the user's attention, and Think about it. When's the last time that you stopped fully on a video? It's all about having a really catchy video that cover thumbnail and then have that with engaging video and having it four by five or one by one and calling it a thumb stopper. And that is how you edit vertical video on Premiere Pro. Definitely you can play around and have different things and editing styles to it, but as that is the bare bones of how you edit a vertical video in Premiere Pro without even knowing anything about 
vertical videos. And just to repeat myself, what you need to remember, really damn straightforward, is if you want a square video that is one by one, then make sure your dimensions of your sequence is 1080 by 1080. Got that? 1080 by 1080. If you want a more vertical video or more a taller or a skyscraper type of video, then that's 1080 by 1350. And last but not least, if you want a Instagram story video, that's 1080 by 1920. So if, if you watched the entire video and you didn't really understand a thing, I hoped you took away at least these dimensions here so it could help you. One by one, four by five, and nine by 16. And that is how you edit a vertical video in Premiere Pro. Yes, I know I can go super deep, like in depth and detail about it, but this is just for straight into it. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create vertical videos. See y'all in the next one.